would you call this? Prepositional phrase. Okay, it's a prepositional phrase. So from now on, I want all of you to think of in the same math class or any prepositional phrase as as uh, as one unit. Okay. In the same boring method. I want you loudly. In the I want you to think of it with parentheses around it. Okay, because it, it it works as one unit. Okay. Let's try another one. Okay. <laughs> oh, by the way, Lowell. Uh, okay, this is a prepositional phrase. What is the object of the preposition? You ought to know that. Right now. Math. Can I teach you math? Class. Math class. Well, don't guess. Okay, then I don't know. Lowell doesn't know. Can anyone tell the Lowell? subject? No, it's the verb. No. <laughs> Can someone help Lowell? He's having a little problem here. Class is the uh, thing. <laughs> Thank you, John. Subject. Is he? I asked the object of preposition. Okay. Okay. It's the object of preposition. What's well, math? What is math? Becky, do you know what math is? Adjective. It's an adjective because it modifies what? Class. Class. And class is what? Besides an object, it's what part of speech? Noun. Noun. What if you right. said no Noun. class? Pardon? What if you said I'm going to math? What, Becky? What if you said no class? In the... Math, no class? <laughs> but that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Let's try math, no class. <laughs> Okay, so that's a phrase. It does not have a subject and a verb, but it's a group of words that works that work together as one unit. Okay. Let me give you another one. Skunk. Wait a second. Good. It's not the one I Watching the uh, sky. Watching the sky. I'm ahead of you. It's a participial place. Where the horizon lies. Laura, is this a sentence? No. Why not? Because it's not complete and there's nothing else to go with. Okay. What, do we, what did we say about a sentence? What it needs? What is it? It's a verb. Okay. Does it have a subject? Mm -hmm. Okay, does it have a verb, first of all? Yeah. What is it? Lies. Lies. Now, let's say if you took where away, would it have a subject then? Mm-hmm. And where would it be? Horizon. Horizon. Okay. And subject anyway, without with what is not. Okay, but what is this? What is where? That's what makes it a clause, but what is this? Subordinate <laughs> conjunction. That's right, subordinate conjunction. Okay, so it makes this. Subordinate conjunction, what do you mean? Okay, we went through conjunctions, John. Subordinate conjunction, what do you mean? It's a kind of conjunction. It makes a subordinate conjunction. It makes a subordinate To make sense? Hmm? Has to have a sentence to make sense? Has to be a sentence to make sense. A sentence to make sense. Got that? <laughs> okay, so think of this as a clause then, and ask yourself if the group of words that work together, okay, ask if it has a, if it has a, has a, a verb and a noun acting on the verb, okay? Now, if, if this isn't a, I'd like, uh, yeah, Lowell, could you come up here and, uh, Make this into a sentence, just the way Bob did. I forgot what word to use. <laughs> you can use you know.
could be the reason why I fell. So did I get that? No, wait. Couldn't it be the man watching the sky fell? Which man fell? Participle trees always use this. What would you say the man fell watching the sky? What would be then? Why okay. watching the sky? It gives you. In other words, it gives you. It gives you a condition under which he fell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought part of the phrase is going to be describing it. No, that's not right. It can be an adjective or an adverb. Yeah, that's right. Okay, one more. One more here. Okay, how about this one? Sure. Sure. No. No. Okay. What can we do to make this into a sentence? I want it to die. Okay. I want to die. <laughs> Loudly. <laughs> okay. I want you to think when you see a two. Do I have everybody's attention there? Two. Die. That's a what? Infinitive. Infinitive. Okay. So this is a... This is an infinitive phrase. <laughs> The man wanted. It's a preposition yeah, to die. Choose a preposition. Okay, two is a direct. Two can be also used as a preposition, right? But two is in a direction. So I, I went to the store. So it's, okay. a, so it's a what? Exactly. So it would be. No, this is an infinitive right here. Yeah, that's me. That's all right. That's all right. I'd like you to do this in pencil. Well, I'm going to take them back. Can I go to my locker? Right. This is serious? Can you talk to this wheel? Can I go to my locker? Okay, you're bringing a pencil back. Can I just sit there and go? I don't have a pencil. Pretend. Raise your claws. What's a claw? I have a question. Uh, yes, Laura. What did we just do up at the board? I'm confused. Why did we Completely? Were you listening, Laura? No, I was listening. I just understand what all those things have to do with one Why did we just do four separate things? Yeah. What's a phrase? If you were listening, you'd know what a phrase is. A phrase is a group of words that doesn't have a subject and or a word. Then you, you, then you learn. Okay, but what I'm asking is why did we do four different kinds? Well, that's not bad. Is it not because of the homework or because of something else? I think else? you have to share. Oh, here we go. Lowell gets one too. He can only stop a little bit now. Look, I have a question. Yes, Pam. Oh, wait, no, my mouth is there. Mind. Well, let's, let's begin with this, okay? Now, we know about clauses, okay? We ought to know what a clause is. The clauses are underlined here. Okay, so what I want you to do is well, to supply underlined? the first ten, do the first ten, either write C for clause or P for phrase. Did okay, you just say clause is underlined? Mm -hmm. what the clauses of the or phrases phrase? are underlined in the sentence. Now, that, they're, they're <laughs> helping you here, okay? From, from now on, I want you to be able to identify them. Okay, a group of words function together as a unit. Why is this main clause the only clause? Can you substitute uh, dependent and independent clause? We don't even have to do that. So main clause, clause is an independent You should all be on the clause. Is that right? Yeah, it's a main and subordinate. Okay, a main clause can stand alone. So that's an independent right. clause. Right. A main clause is an independent clause. Subordinate clause is a dependent clause. Right. Why do you don't they say that? Okay. Can I, can I have this for a second? Making an old friend. Okay, let's look at this. John, John has a question. Okay, uh, John, could you read the, the first? Yeah. Let's let's uh, read the example. Okay, right down below. After which one? This one? Yeah, after the rain. After the rain stopped, we played tennis. Period. Okay. Okay. So that which is underlined here is it's a clause. It's a clause. Okay, does everyone agree? After the rain stopped, here we go. Um, I'm going to have to do this as a guy. Okay. When I call you, I'll be back. 
Okay, Lowell, let's start. Start out, number one. Number one. Thinking of an old friend, she reached for the telephone and said, Phrase, because there's just a subject that's no verb. No. Nope. Thank you. Or the other way around, there's no verb and not a subject. Thinking. Parcel. It's What's the phrase, anyway? Yeah. Well, it certainly it? doesn't have a subject. No. So, so that's a no. verb? Becky? Thinking is your number two. Verb? No. John? Yeah, yeah That's what Lowell yeah. said. I thought thinking was a verb, but I guess it's not. No. Sorry. But I know it's a verb, but it's not a clause. It's a verb, but it's a part of John? John? Okay, a clause is a subject and a verb. I told you that. Okay? That'll help you decide whether it's a phrase or a clause. If it has both, then you know it's a clause. That's simple. Becky, number two. Um, if you really want to know, why don't you ask? Please. Thank you. Do you understand why? Yeah. Why don't you understand that? There's a subject, you, mm -hmm. and verb, what? Want to. Mm -hmm. Okay, Laura, number three. After she had a chance to think about it, she said yes, close. Four, Tammy? Sleeping around the corner, we met face to face. Good. Good. John, number five. The children were glad, or they liked the old man. Um, close. They liked. That's right. Okay. Bob. Ten and a half balls and Cinderella forgot the time. Phrase. Yes. Okay. We would okay. From now on we're going to uh do the rest of this, the clause. Okay, so I, w I want you for the rest of the period to do this. And whether it's a clause or a phrase. You're getting the idea and all of you have gotten it right so far. Do you have any questions, John? Well, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I am finding the